There you go. You didn't see me do that, but now melee is side button. Much better. Whee. I hear bodies. Oh, they're out that way. You hear the lady stay dead. Clear. Ooh. Pit of Doom. I hope we don't have to go into the pit of doom. I can't remember. What the? Hey! You want a piece of me? That's enough, thanks. How long since you were here last, Captain Ross? Who's there? Ross. Shh. Listen. We've been expecting you. Everyone stay close. Oh yeah, follow the creepy beanie baby. That's brilliant. I mean look at it, why the hell would you follow it? Uh just in case you haven't figured it out. Uh it did say Did you hear that? It's like the walls are talking. It did say it in the um, in the typing during the loading screen, but that baby thing that we're following is supposed to be you want a piece of me? what God created uh, before Adam and Eve, essentially. And it was a complete fucker because he's evil, kind of. If you don't understand, do not worry, or will be explained. It's quite a uh, quite a clear storyline in this game, so you shouldn't have Thank any trouble God. following. Uh, the characters in this game can kind of speak randomly whenever they want to. I've got no real n way of knowing when they're going to start talking. Uh, so if I talk over them for a, a moment, uh, sorry about that. Uh, it's just because I don't know when the dialogue is going to start. I'll try my best to avoid doing it. Got one. Fucker. Yeah, um later in the what? game. That's all of them? It will be shown. Uh and described, but each of these characters have all got very different abilities. Uh, for instance, I think it was her just caused that big ring of fire. Uh, she's some kind of telekinetic sniper. Uh, he's a healer. And the big guy we saw earlier, I think he can release some kind of Anytime you're ready, sugar. fire demon from his arm. Uh, the redhead. I don't know. I think she's just good with computers. And there's this, the other guy, the skinhead. He. I can't actually remember what he does. I think he's some kind of, some kind of telekinesis as well, but not exactly the same as what she does. It's uh, interesting. Ice crystals. The ground's frozen. A blood sigil. That's serious magic. It makes sense, doesn't it? 
If they knew they were under attack, they'd have rites and incantations in place to lock the facility down. Can you unbind it? Sure can. This is one of ours. You might want to step back a bit. You should hurry. I don't know how long before it closes again. You don't want to be halfway through when it does, know what I mean? Rawlings, come with me. Abby, Billy, you two hang back. If that door doesn't open from the inside, I'm gonna need you to let us out. You got it, sir. Neat trick. Seemed a bit overcomplicated for a door. What are we looking for? There's a huge array of paranormal detection and surveillance gear constantly monitoring Al Kali for any sign that the dimensional rift is weakening. We need to find and recover that data so we can determine what Leech has done and hopefully undo it. Ooh. Flayed alive. Lovely. Let's move along. Did I just hear someone dying? I'm sure I did. Dead end! Better try another way! Alright, no need to shout. Jesus. I have to admit though, that guy is gotta be the coolest priest I've ever seen. I'm not religious at all, but you know. Very cool. I mean do all, do all Catholic priests get to carry dual desert eagles? If so, sign me up. Down there! He's dead! I hope. I mean, I'm an atheist, but I mean, if I got to look that cool... By the grace of God. Hell yes. The power of Christ compels you, motherfucker. Sorry. A bit overexcited there. Muriel! Drop your weapon! Don't you fucking move! Muriel, it's me, Paul! You're one of them! I know it! I said drop the goddamn gun, now! Muriel, I swear it's me, Paul Rawlings. We met in 96. I was your handler in Chechnya, then Sudan. What about Prague? Prague. Prague, 1999. New Year's Eve at the Hotel Bohemia. We danced a cold porter tune sung in Czech, then drank ourselves stupid.